I've been asked to discuss the past two concerts and give just kind of a ref reflection. And so let's talk about the Cowboy and Rockstars concert first. I'm just going to touch on that because I know there's, I don't have a lot of time. Um, if you had ever told me that a country concert would be my favorite concert to date as artistic director for Heart of America Men's Chorus, I would have laughed in your face. But I was just wowed by the music and the energy and the set and how much fun we had during the rehearsal process, as well as just how darn good we sounded once we got to concert time. And we just had such a good time. We laughed, I think, more than any other concert. And that's really important to me because laughter and having fun is just as important as producing quality music, and we happened to do both, so that was really great. Um, I was disappointed with how many people were in the audience. I wish more people had come to see the concert because they would have been wowed, just like we all were, and we were excited. Um, thank you to all the people that were there, but boy, we'd like to increase the audience. Um, the good thing is, is that we are, you know, our name's out in the community, and we are have a level of performance that people want to come see and they I guarantee they will be entertained how you are not entertained by these men you you should tell me because I will say you are crazy because there's no way that that you can't be completely entertained with their voices as well as their personalities and it shows on stage um, come to a concert if you have a chance if you haven't been to one come to a concert and I guarantee you will start coming to every concert. If you have been coming to the concert, thank you and keep coming because we will keep making it fresh and new and exciting. Um, I was asked how do I keep the Christmas spirit um, concert fresh every year because I have been my many, many years of, <laughs> of directing. I have done many Christmas concerts. That's really tough except I will say Having the musical theater degree behind me, I tend to do more theatrical stuff and put some fun, and it's not just classical. I love doing the classical pieces, but then we can turn around and do a song about Christmas sweaters. Oh, I just gave away one of our songs for Christmas. Um, but it, I love to have fun. We dressed up as elves, you know, and, I, and, and it's always interesting to keep it fresh, but I'm always looking. I look through and listen to so many um, songs. Christmas wise as well as for any concert and I just wait until I think ooh I would want to I would want to listen to that on stage and if I have some crazy idea god bless these men they will go right along with me and be as crazy as me so that's kind of how I keep it fresh um, I always want something different I don't want to do the same thing if at all possible except I really like the song White Christmas and and to me I've always had choirs at the end of my collegiate choirs as well as when I taught high school we would do an arrangement of a holy night and we still do that and it seems to be very important to our alumni and to the audience that's that I've had some people say that's how we get in the Christmas spirit and so for Heart of America I kind of started inching in the song White Christmas because I just think it's beautiful and we have a beautiful arrangement of it as our as our final song or somewhere in there and that to me is a Christmas card for the men to give the audience and so hopefully we will start hearing, and I've already heard last Christmas that, oh, that song is so cool and just gets me in the mood. So that's kind of how I keep it fresh. Um, okay, on to, I'm trying to remember all the things I've talked about. On to the last concert we did. Very near and dear to a lot of our hearts because we partnered with the American Cancer Society. Um, and I tried to gear the concert toward uplifting and patriotic because it was right around July 4th. But it was very important to me not to, to bring the audience down. It was a chance to celebrate the survivors as well as celebrate the people that we all have lost through this hideous disease. Um, I think we were able to do that. And I will say summer concerts are hard because there's usually a lot of absenteeism in the group and I'm kind of a stickler about that. But this year, this concert was the best attendance we have had since my since I started four Christmases ago. And I don't know why, but I certainly hope it continues. I think it, it had something to do maybe with the fact that it was near and dear to a lot of our hearts and the fact that ever since the Cowboys and Rockstars concert, on that concert we took a we took a step up as far as performance quality. Not that we were bad by any means, but 
there is always room for improvement, and there is, there is no choir on earth that is perfect. But I do believe that the quality has improved greatly. We have some just amazing singers, and I feel like everybody has learned a lot, hopefully, through myself as well as the maybe the man that they are singing next to. They're learning blend, and they're learning different techniques, not just for me, but from the men, and they seem to work really well together, and it just, it just clicked, and it's clicked for Cowboys and Rockstars, and it clicked for Red, White, and Cure, and I just feel like we are able, I am able to do, we are doing much more difficult music than we have in the past. We're doing some fluff stuff for fun, because we will always do that, because I always want a good mix. I don't want to, I don't want to tax people too much, because this is an extracurricular thing. It's not, it's not a job. Well, for me, it's a job, but it's an awesome job that I love. But for the men, it is a place to come every Tuesday night and have a good time, but then really pr show what they can do talent-wise and, and share their talent with everybody else, not just the men, but then the audience. So that's really important to me. Um, I, You know, people always ask me, what was your favorite song in the concert? It's really hard for me to pick favorite songs, so I'm just not even going to talk about that because a lot of times it's all of them. Um, there's always one or two that they don't like, and it was kind of interesting. We, I picked this song that I'd heard. It was the Gettysburg Address, and the men were kind of like, ah, okay. They, it, it was just funny to watch them when I first gave it to them. Some of them were like, oh, this is cool, and and some of them were like, oh my god, it's six minutes long. And I had put some solos and duets. It was a way to showcase solos, duets, some of the individual talent as well. Um, and then when we did it at the concert, whereas it wasn't, I don't think, anybody's favorite. Well, I won't say that. I had two men tell me it was their favorite song. But it was interesting how the audience took that and to watch the men, because the audience absolutely loved it, and then the men loved it. And then it was powerhouse men, and there was nothing like a powerhouse male sound. You know, I'm a woman, I sing in choirs, I sing doing musical theater. There is nothing like four to six part harmony for big, wonderful male voices. So um, we got to do that a lot for this patriotic concert, and I think people were wowed in the audience. I had many people say that are that are in the choral industry as well, say this was the best concert, and that they, and I am just, thoroughly proud of this group that I get to conduct and get to hang with every Tuesday night. And I'm finished. Bye.